Hi, this is Rian from Must Be No. Instead of assigning IP address manually on every machine in your organization, a lot of DSCP server do this task for you. So in this lab guide, we are going to install and configure our DSCP server rule in the new Windows Server 2022. Press Ctrl to delete key combination to sign into Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator account password and hit enter key. The system logs on with the administrator user account and the server manager console appears. You need to assign static IP address on your server before you start installation of DHCP service. We have installed and configured the Act to Directory domain service with DNS service on this server and that you can see here. On Server Manager Console, I'm going to click on Local Server first and you can confirm that we have assigned the static IP address 192.168.96.11 to this server. Let's click on Dashboard. On Server Manager, click on Add Rules and Features. This will bring up a pop-up window, name before you begin. Click Next. On this page, Choose the rule base of Azure Base Installation Radio option and hit Next. Choose the server you would wish to install the DSCP service on it. In this guide, we are choosing the local server dc1.mustbenoob.lab. Click Next. The next page is titled Select Server Rules and has got a list of rules to install. As you can guess, we are going to choose a DSCP server. Let's select the checkbox in front of DHCP. After you choose DHCP server on the previous step, another pop-up window will come up titled Add Features that are required for DHCP server. Simply click on Add Features. Click Next after that. On the next page, simply click on Next. Next again. And on Confirm Installation Selection page, click on Install to start the process. After DHCP Server Role is installed successfully, click on Close. Let us proceed to do Post Deployment Configuration on the DHCP. On Server Manager, you should now be able to see DHCP option on left hand side. Click on DHCP. You should see a yellow mark warning that says Configuration required for DHCP Server at our server DC1. Click on more link at the end of the warning sentence. You will see post deployment configuration line. Click on complete TSCP configuration at the end of the line as you can see here. A post installation configuration wizard will come up. Click next. You are presented with three options. You can proceed with the administrator's credential an alternate user's credential and also skip ID authorization. If your server is standalone and is not in any Active Directory domain, then you can choose skip ID authorization radio button. Here, the server is part of our Active Directory domain must be noob.lab and that's why the first radio button is selected. We are using the credential of administrator on this computer to sign in and that credential is already listed here. Using this credential, the DHCP service will be authorized in our Active Directory domain. Click on Commit. Ok, uh, the post installation configuration steps are performed successfully. Click on Close. Let me close this console as well. We have installed the DHCP service as well as we have also completed the post installation configuration task. Now, we need to create new DHCP scope from which our DSCP server can assign the IP address to client computer. For that, on Server Manager Console, click on Tools and select DHCP. This will open DHCP Manager window. Right click on IP version 4 since we are only using IP version 4 in this lab guide series. Select New Scope, click Next. Put in a name and description of this new DHCP scope. I'm giving name Taste DHCP scope. 
click next type start and and ip which subnet mask as per your local network here we are using this local network 192.168.96.0/24 in our lab series so according to that we are going to enter this a scope range i'm going to start this scope range from 192.168.96.100 to 192.168 96.250 the subnet mask is going to be slash 24 255.255.255.0 click next if you would like to reserve some ips in the range for maybe stuff like a printer and other equipment you can input them at this stage but we are not going to reserve or exclude any ip addresses click next so you can set up this list duration as per your requirement. I'm going to use default, which is eight days. Hit next. On this page, just click next as you want to configure DSCP options. Click next. On this page, enter the default gateway's IP address that the client will be assigned during the lease time. In our case, the default gateway's IP address is 192.168.96.1. So enter it 192.168.96.1 and click on add. Click next. The DNS is very important because it will facilitate the name resolution of FQDN to IP addresses. And since this is our domain controller, the parent domain name and DNS server address is already mentioned there. Click next. If you would like to use Win server in your environment, then input the detail in this step and proceed by clicking on next. On this step, just click next to activate the DHCP scope we have configured. If you would wish to activate it later, choose the second radio button. Click on finish. And we have finally finished our DHCP server configuration. Now that DHCP server has been configured on our Windows Server 2022, the next step is to configure DHCP client for a Windows machine to obtain an IP address from this DHCP server. So let's go to a Windows 11 client computer where we have statically assigned the IP address 192.168.96.51. Let's go there. We are using the credential of our domain admin to sign in to this Windows 11 client computer. Okay, I'm going to click on settings, click on network and internet, click on ethernet, this is our adapter. Right now, as you can see, the IP address assignment type is manual. So we have set up the static IP address on this Windows 11 computer, which is 192.168.96.51. So to modify these settings, we need to click on add it. And uh, under Edit IP Settings, click on this drop down arrow and select Automatic DHCP. Click on Save. Okay, we can see that IP assignment type is Automatic DHCP. Let's uh, again click on Ethernet Adapter and okay, fine. IP assignment type is Automatic DHCP and same for DNS server. But here you can see IP version 4 address is set to 192.168.96.100 and the DNS server address is 192.168.96.11 uh, which is the IP address of our domain controller. Uh, we also want to confirm the same thing from command prompt as well. So click on this window button or you can say start button and search for command prompt. At command prompt, I'm going to type the command ipconfig slash all. Here we can see the IP address 192.168.96.100 which is assigned by our DHCP server. And here we have information about the DHCP server which we have installed on our domain controller. You can also get the information about the DHCP lease from this time to this time. Uh, just to make sure everything went well and we are receiving our IPs from the DSCP server as configured, let's go over to our DSCP server as well and let's confirm it. Okay, we are on our DSCP server. Uh, this is the scope which we have created. And under this scope, 
I'm going to click on address leases to check out the DSCP lease and this IP address 192.168.96.100 is assigned to this client computer and the lease is going to expire on this time and here we can also get the information about that DSCP client's MAC address. So you can confirm that our Windows 11 client is getting the IP address from our newly deployed DSCP server on Windows Server 2022. That's the end of this lab guide on how to deploy DHCP service on Windows Server 2022. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.